G'day, how you going? Welcome to Bootlosophy. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands I live and work on here in Perth in Western Australia, the Wajik people of the Noongar Nation. Now, um, I got a, a, a question uh, or a comment in one of my videos that said, hey, um, do you do auto cues? So I thought I'd <laughs> do something a bit different and take you on a little bit tour a little tour of uh, um, how I do my videos. Um, so I'll take you through it and we'll, we'll take a look. So I do most of my filming uh, in, in, in the home. I, I do it in the study, but sometimes I do it in the office. And this is my study, as you can see. Um, some of what you see is probably familiar to you um, because from time to time I've, I've shown you in a, in a different angle. And um, this is my study because uh, that's my desk down there. And there are two desks in here because my wife has her desk over there as well. Uh, and behind me is the table that I usually do my filming on over there um, with that as the background. Now, that table usually sits under that window where that, that light is. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I have to move it around, but oh well, that's, that's fine. Now, also in this little corner, you'll see a whole pile of boots, uh, a box, because I just did some unboxing, and um, some clothing. There's a white shirt and a dark blue t-shirt. Because what I do is um, I usually... Uh, batch my videos and do two or three videos at the one time. Uh, that way I don't have to do videos every week. So I, I sort of accumulate them because, you know, I have a business to run. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I do try and batch my videos, but sometimes I, I do one at a time. Now, the lights. Uh, because this is in my study, it has overhead lights not particularly bright, despite this really nice window. So I get quite a lot of uh, natural light, but it's still not enough to light up for YouTube videos. So uh, you see these lights here, and I have a couple over here, that one there, and uh, where's the other one? Uh, oh, sorry, moving it over here, over there, okay? Now, these are just normal, ordinary garage lights. Um, I used to have an MG Midget. I, I'm guessing not many of you will know what that is, but it's a it's an old British sports car from the 1960s, and I used to work on uh, on the MG every every uh, Sunday um, Sunday afternoon, uh, basically because if I didn't work on them, I wouldn't go anywhere on Monday, <laughs> and especially uh, doing the the uh, balancing the twin carburettors because that thing got itself unbalanced every time you went over a bump, but look, that's another story. The end result is I had um, three garage lights. I don't buy any fancy lights for videoing. Um, I had three garage lights, so I set them up in here uh, to fully light me up when I'm at the table. And on some of them, I soften the light with um, a boot bag. How, you know, how more appropriate can you get? And then in terms of how I do the filming, um, there is my, where, let's move it over here. Uh, there is my, camera set up. There's no camera there at the moment. And my auto cue, and I'll talk about that auto cue in a minute. I use a, an Apple iPhone. I don't have a special camera. So all my videoing is done with an Apple iPhone. Um, so that's why there isn't anything there at the moment, because it's there. <laughs> um, the auto cue is just an app on my iPad. I don't use an auto cue all the time. Uh, often, when I do very detailed videos and I explain about the construction, I will actually type all that up. And then I might have a, a once, you know, all that is in detail goes by, there'll be a little uh, a phrase that says, uh, wing it on the aesthetics or just talk about sizing and fit. And then I, I'll sort of have to wing it and talk it through. So you can always tell because uh, when I'm very fluid and I'm talking about the construction and it's good you're welded and then you do this and you do that, uh, it's, it's very fluid. It's when I go into the ah, uh, mm, ah, uh, like I'm doing now, that you know it's unscripted or there might just be a note that says, talk about the fit <laughs> and I'll make it up as I go. 
So keep an eye out. And sometimes also uh, you tell I stuff it up because I'll do something like, let's take this week. I'll do something like say, and of course, uh, it, it's a good year well to construction. And now let's go to, so you see the, the split in between. So from a simple question about, um, do I use an auto cue? I thought I'd take you around and have you look uh, behind the scenes. So I hope you like this slightly weird video, slightly revealing some uh, things about how I do things. Um, honestly, if this is the first time you're here, I actually do boot reviews. And uh, if you like boot reviews, you might like mine. So why don't you subscribe and take a look because you can always unsub un unsubscribe if you don't like them. But take a look. I've got lots of boot reviews. I do some bag reviews and a few other gear here and there. Um, and if you like this, this uh, uh, video, click on like because that doesn't hurt you and it helps me. So <laughs> there you go. Tell me if you like this sort of video. Um, I, I might do some more. Who knows? But that's enough of behind the scenes because there's not a lot more I can tell you about being behind the scenes. So until the next time, you guys stay safe out there and I'll see you soon.